Hey, you guys, it's Brother Mikey. You're not going to believe this. Look at that old inverter. See it there? That thing, I had that forever. That's back in the days of when they had car audio uh, heat sinks. That's got to be like 30 years old. And that thing really works good. I can run two bulbs on that one for the same amps. Well, it's a little higher. But if I ran these two bulbs on this brand new inverter here, that red thing, that uh, this new technology, whatever's in there, right? It'll only pull uh, with one bulb. It'll pull one amp or so on the dial. Look at that. It's more proportionate. Before I was getting like one amp and something, one point. I was getting with one bulb 1.2 amps we'll say and I was still getting four amps here this this message is only for the guys who are involved okay the rest of you won't understand this but I had to get that amp meter out of there that amp meter went to cra shot craps on me because it was always pegging and it blew the solder joint right off of the off of the little um, what do you call those uh, what do you call those uh, little blocks that hook inside yeah getting old and forgetful guys but anyway uh, inside the meter it exploded so I got a bigger one on there, wired up on there, and I got so much glare here you can't see it, huh? Let me cover one of my LED bulbs up so you can see it better. And uh, these things aren't hot at all. Okay, now maybe you can see it, huh? Let me get some light onto it. Can you see the meter better now? Last time we couldn't see the meter hardly at all on camera, I noticed. And I'm practically right on it. So I got a lot to learn about cameras. Uh, that's one. That's five, I mean. A little under five amps. And over here, it's over two maybe right at about two uh, at two amps but the proportion is far different that's what I wanted to say it's like a two to one like it should be see and after it steps it up and it goes through here this old inverter is much better it's a this one's really seasoned too and they really over it was overkill back in the day and this says a 300 watt but really it's more like a today's 500 probably but these with the computer chips in it forget it and that other one that burned up on me that little one that was junk uh, they just can't stand anything you know this one here this little 200 watt junker so Turian was right again it's your inverters that you know there's all different kinds and it's good to have the right inverter for this split positive with the booster setup so just wanted you to get a sneak peek at what I've got two of them plugged in see there for the price of one so you know there's a big difference there and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens yeah, I got a big mess here, and I got to run out to the shop. I'm working, still tied to the whipping pole, you know. Can't spend much time in here right now. And everybody is spend crazy. I got stuff going out on my appliances like you would not believe. People are going nuts to buy something. All right, I got to go. But here's the voltage, and I'll, I'll get back to it later. Seems to be just hanging in there charged it up last night and let it set today for a while let it let it set before I start pulling a load on it yeah getting two for the price of one and we'll see uh, how this 
pulls up. I forgot to jump in here and tell you tell you something. Uh, here's the original bulb. Let me turn this other one off over here. Now look at the amp draw. It's way down. It was way down. Uh, th that was the old setup was four amps. Look at it. It's only two something. And over here, that's about the same, right? So whatever these inverters do uh, to to the amp draw, look at all the power I'm saving there. See, that's the one that goes over to the to the run battery, and this is all maintaining for an amp and well, my goodness, an amp and a quarter cheaper. This inverter is doing the same thing, lighting that bulb for an amp and a quarter cheaper and maybe it doesn't have so many obstructions inside there to work with this split positive. We'll see how it goes, but we were told we have to try different inverters. So that's what I'm doing and we'll see if we can save anything. If not, it's still a great setup for beginners to learn and and one of these days I'm going to get that motor, get some more time, and i got to get past all this hysterical buy frenzy. Okay, see you later, guys. I'm going to turn it back on. Oh, don't go away yet. I'm going to turn back the other light on. And I probably shouldn't. I probably should just run cheaper because that's what I've been doing. But I'm going to let it run down. See, it's right back up again, 1270. That's too many volts. I'm going to bring it down the curve a little bit before I uh, and turn it off and on and, and make sure I get right on a number and then see how much that savings turned out to be. Okay? Because we want to keep the same bulb, not two of them, but I thought I would get that up there near the max. And also, I need to know how to cascade these boosters, guys. If anybody knows which pin on there lets me enable the pin to another booster or how to hook two boosters in parallel better than me let me know okay because that's what I'm gonna be doing there we go two of them running and twice as many even brighter light and everything uh, the one I, other one I put in and it's only a teeny tiny bit more on this inverter amazing difference